Yeah. Ah, I'm dead. Hello everybody! As you can see I'm here at Mugello for the second time this year and I'm back with the weekly vlog. It's been like one month I didn't make one and I decided to make a weekly vlog during this week because you know it would have been a week full of events, full of wonderful things to do and the weekend, this awesome week should have started yesterday, no wait Three days ago, with the racing weekend in Adria. I should have been racing with Grip G1 and Formula Predators, but something that I still don't know what it is happened, and the racing weekend was canceled three days before. I was leaving home on Wednesday to go on track, and I got an email where they said the weekend is canceled. That's a shame because, you know, I trained for the weekend. I tested and I, I plan to make more tests on Thursday and Friday in order to be competitive and try to make a good race with the new team with the Formula Predators but the weekend was cancelled and I actually don't know why I mean they still didn't tell us what happened exactly so that's pretty bad luck I mean I really would have loved to race I hope we will be able to recover the weekend maybe during October in order not to miss the good test that we've made by the way you're probably wondering why I'm here at Mugello and the answer is you're gonna find out soon yes ah. So the reason why I'm here at Mugello is that tomorrow I will make a track day at the old school racing of Alex Gramigni and I'm gonna be riding the new Yamaha R1 2020. I'm really happy about that because I'm really curious to see what they changed in this new bike. And meanwhile, you can see I'm surrounded by t-shirts and I am signing them because these special t-shirts are for some special people. And if you're wondering when my t-shirts are gonna be on sale, soon. I hope that in October, we're gonna have the website online so that you're gonna be able to buy them. So now, I need to go back to work. Mi spieghi perché dopo una giornata intera i tuoi sotto tutta non puzzano mentre i miei dopo un turno sanno di cadavere? Perché io ho un'arma segreta che purtroppo non è qua ma è a casa, si chiama Nonna Liuba che non so che cosa mi inserisca dentro quella lavatrice ma... Cioè come un uomo potrei dormirci abbracciato se non sapessi che ci hai sudato Comunque sei sempre ordinatissimo cioè, Me lo dicono tutti sì, sì, Che poi, cioè, allora io, io quando entro in casa, quando vivevo con altre persone cioè io mettevo le cose a caso però sapevo dove erano Altre persone me le mettevano in ordine e poi non le trovo più. Ah, e mi incazzavo. Scusa, nel mio disordine io sono ordinato. Io so, so dove ogni cosa. Poi qualcosa perdo ogni tanto, però. Però lo perdono anche gli ordinati. Io ormai sono 15 anni che mi sopporta e so dove mette le cose. So il suo ordine. Ah, ok. Cioè, ci ho voluto un po' di anni, ma io so dove poi le mette. Quindi. Cioè, tu sai che lasci una cosa sul divano, la ritroverai. No, no, no. <ride> che bomba. Ma sei dappertutto te? Io. Sono sempre lì dentro, viaggio, vedi? Si chiama backpack racing perché i backpacker viaggiano con lo zaino e io voglio rispettare questa cosa oh, qui via. a pieno.
Allora, la, la, la domanda che mi hanno fatto di più questi giorni è stata come l'hai festeggiato questo compleanno? No, che spero, non è il compleanno. <ride> come l'hai festeggiato questo campionato? E quindi la gente si immagina feste, film. Cazzo, l'ho passato a casa a montare video, quindi questa è la prima sera che festeggiamo il titolo. Auguri, bella. Appena cosa di fai Rossi? Sì. Questo tagliamo vero? È no. politicamente scorretto. Mia figlia può aspetta, fare aspetta. chiunque, no? Mia figlia può, può fare chiunque. Chi è che è forte? E tra l'altro vogliamo dire dove siamo e... Siamo a Dolce Vita di Milano. Dolce Vita di Misano. Vabbè, è campionato. Sì. 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 sleep a little bit late yesterday you know i had to celebrate the championship victory so this morning <sighs> i woke up a little bit later now i am back at andreani because i need to finish some part of the video and then i'll be leaving for you're gonna see where I just have arrived in Modena. In 26 minutes I have to go down for dinner. I have just a little bit of work to do. Take a shower. <laughs> My god, I have no time for doing anything. Uh, and by the way, <coughs> tomorrow is gonna be a really fun day because you will see. Vai, infilatevi anche voi. <ride> Esattamente cos'è la Usaberg? Sarebbe una, una moto sì? creata in precedenza, nata da sola. KTM ha visto le sue potenzialità e quindi se l'è pigliata. Questo è l'unico esemplare al mondo, è la prima che vedo. Al mondo no, ce ne sono tanti. Ci sono anche dei 800, dei 600, 4,5. 4 è solo che adesso sono, hanno un motore KTM. Quindi i veri Usaberg sono rarissimi. E questo è un vero Usaberg? Questo no, purtroppo. Questo c'è un motore KTM. Ma i veri Usaberg non li ho visti neanche io. Bomba, gas. Sempre aperto no, Non così tanto gas però <ride> Eh magari meglio evitare <ride> Ciao ragazzi Ciao, Ciao. <ride> I, I can't really Ok so it was really awesome Really fun But always remember Always wear protections And the shell I don't know how it's called in English The, the back protector Yeah that's how it's called So i have finished here in Modena. It was so cool today. You will see the video in next days. And now I'm going back to Milan and I hope that for the first time I will be able to be home in a decent time to take a shower, to have dinner and to go to sleep. Not early, but you know, <laughs> decent. I got home at a decent time, you would say, but I have all the things to put in order to arrange and I have to take the, the motorbike suit off that bag and it's there since Monday ah I forgot to put it out I don't want to see I'm not ready for the smell then after that I need to download all the videos prepare them for tomorrow take a shower prepare dinner it's gonna be a long evening It's 10.40 in the evening. I spent the whole day editing videos, as responding emails, reading emails, paying stuff, answering emails, editing videos. <laughs> And even after 12 hours of work, there is still a ton of work to do. So 
<laughs> I hate these days. When you come back home after five days out and you find yourself submerged with things to do. By the way, while I was reorganizing my stuff, I found this, which is a t-shirt that a boy gave me during the last race in Varano. And he told me that this Filk F-I-L-K-08 was created in, a, in memory of his friend, another boy, who passed away after a bad disease. And he was my fan and he watched all my videos. So it, it's nice what they did, that they thought about me and came to me and tell me about that story and give me this t-shirt. I just wanted to say thank you for this beautiful thing. And I and I invite you to go to go to search this on Google. It's in Italian, by the way, to see what they do because it's truly amazing. By the way, now I'm gonna prepare all the stuff for tomorrow. I'm talking about cameras, racing suits, boots, helmet, and whatever you need to ride a bike and make a video because tomorrow I will be back on track. I'm dead. What is this? Is it oil? <laughs> it looks like my blood. <laughs> oh my god. I did like 90 laps today. <sighs> I'm devastated. But it was an awesome day because I tried the, the R1 2019, the R1 2020, the R1 M 2020 and I was able to make a comparison between the old version and the new one, which you will see on this channel in detail. You will see the complete review of the new motorbike. And I love this day because I used it to try to learn as much as I can and to train and to practice as much as I can. So I worked on the position on the motorbike. I work on braking, trying to drift a little bit while braking in order to brake harder and corner better. I exercised on using the throttle to make the bike corner using the slide control system and it was very useful, really, because this is what I must do if I wanna grow and reach a higher level. Because the goal for next year is to race in a higher level championship and, you know, you always race to win. So the goal is to win. By the way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel because in next days you're gonna see all the videos that I've made during this week. Bye bye.